welcome to the recipes for the vegan vixen. We will be preparing lemon pepper green beans, cauliflower rice, and oatmeal burgers and an onion gravy. We will start with our oatmeal burgers, which will, you will need one cup of cooked oats, quick oats, and then a vegan onion soup packet, flour. We will be making flaxseed egg to replace the egg. Here's for our onion gravy flour and onions. And here's our extra virgin olive oil for all of our recipes during this time so we will not be using butter. So now we're going to make the egg to bind the oatmeal burgers and you need two heaping spoons of flaxseed and six tablespoons of water. And now we just let it come to a boil and I'll let you know what the texture should be when you're done. So this is the flaxseed egg. It should be this consistency. If you're making it for like a bacon item that you do not want the flax seeds in, you can definitely strain it with some cheesecloth, but for this um, recipe purpose, you don't need to strain it. You can just use it. So now we'll add the onion soup mixture. That is the seasoning, the primary seasoning. And this is after the oatmeal has cooled down. And then we will add the egg mixture. Well, the egg replacement, but yeah. If you would like, you can also add the extra little touches that you like as far as spices are concerned. So for me, that would be onion powder, garlic powder, a little white pepper, and uh, a little cayenne if you want a little spice. We can always add those things to the gravy as well. So. so for a little extra crunchiness and binding activity, I'm gonna add just a little bit of all-purpose flour so it'll give you that salmon croquette, faux salmon croquette type of crunch when you bite into it and so that the gravy will maintain, you know, the crunch will maintain after you have it in gravy. So the onions have already uh, sauteed and we've now added our all-purpose flour. And then a few after the flour is browned, we will add water. This is in preparation for the cauliflower rice. And no, it does not taste like rice. However, it is a good substitute, but you have to amp it up. So what I do is chop up peppers, two different color peppers, and we'll also add not chicken bouillon cube, it is vegan. We'll add not chicken bouillon cube to this. This is vegan, of course. And it depends on how much seasoning you want. So we'll start off with one, but if you need to add another one, you will. And then I have the other onion powder, turmeric, and garlic powder, and white pepper. So now that you have the peppers that are sauteed, you can add your cauliflower rice. Now you can cauliflower, you can rice some cauliflower. You can buy it already riced at Publix. You can buy it already riced at Costco. This is from Costco, already riced and frozen, just one bag. So I add it. And we'll let this saute a little bit because this is thawed, so it will not take long. And after it sautes a little bit, we'll add a little more seasoning just to pipe it up. One. Now we're gonna make our green beans. We have a little bit of peppers left, so we add those in for a little razzle dazzle. And they're gonna be lemon pepper green beans. However, I do add garlic, onion powder, dehydrated onions, and that's what we season them with, and a little salt, because the lemon pepper is unsalted. So here is your vegan meal. We have the oatmeal burgers with flaxseed as the egg replacement, cauliflower rice, and green beans. And all you have to do is add your gravy. Have a little on the side.
side if you want. And there you have it.